Hi Gophers, my name is Alex Pluto and welcome to Package Main channel. First of all, I want to apologize that I haven't uploaded any videos in the last two months. That's because I was busy with relocation to Berlin. Yes, I changed my job, currently I'm working as technical manager at 24 Metrics. So if you are looking for a job and you want to join my team, send me a CV, the link below the video. As you may know, Go 1.11 introduces new opt-in feature called Go Modules. Before Go Modules, coffers were using tools like Dep and Glide to manage dependencies. But now they are not needed because Go Modules is a part of Go standard toolchain. Also, Go Modules allow for duplication of Go path, which was a blocker for some newcomers in Go. Now you can clone any Go project into any folder which is not in Go path and you will be able to build and run it. In this video, I want to demonstrate to you how to enable Go modules in your program and then package it with Docker, and you will see how easy it is. Let's create a simple HTTP server, which will use Logbus package for login. As I said before, Go modules is an opt-in feature, so we should enable it first. And we can do it by setting Go111 module on environment variable. So let's do it export Go mod, um, sorry, Go111 module equals on. Now let's create the folder for our server. And the first command we will do is go mod init. It will create the go mod file for our package. For now it's just a name here. But now let's see if you do go get github.com slash so logos package third party it will add it here to gamut with specific version and also it will create the go sum file with all fixed versions great now let's create some http server in go so you'll just listen and serve um, 8080. Let's create some simple handler just for demonstration. And uh, here we can just print something back to user. Just package main 14. And now let's also use it here so here just oh, sorry handle handle function handle. as i said we will use logos package for login so let's define the login middleware so i will call login middleware and in all middlewares we accept the handler and we return it so what we will do here we'll return http handler function and it will accept function with response writer and request and inside we will use actually logros package login so let's do logros dot info f something is just let's log the url only and at the end we should do next serve http response writer request great let's only just for simplicity use log and also we should use our middleware here before the handler now let's test if it works. So first of all, we just do go build and run our server and make some request to it. Great, we have response and we have a log here. All right. So it's basically a simple HTTP server in Go. Now let's package it with Docker. So let's create a Docker file for it. And from Golang, 
first of all don't forget to set this go 111 module equals on then let's create a work dir and let's copy all the files into our container to our image and then run the go build basically i'll just set this flux as i always prefer to do linux and go arc and run go build right and as a web server we should expose 8080 and our entry point will be in up http server great now let's it should work now let's try to build docker build let's set the tag name http server and build it great as you can see the go build command will looking to go some file and we'll try to download all dependencies let's wait for it and see how it goes great it builds successfully one thing i don't like about this approach that every time we change something in our go file and then we need to build the image again docker will try to download dependencies again because it's done in the go build so let's cancel it and i'll show how to make it a little bit better so we should download our dependencies only when go sum or go mod files have been changed so i will copy them first and also go sum file and here we go there is a command go mod download we should download our dependencies all right let's have work here here so basically go build won't download them let's try to build it great and you see even if we change something in our go files and build it again dependencies are not downloaded so it will help us to speed up uh, the building process a little bit also what i do with docker files is that we basically don't need the go and all this tool chain when we run our binary so i use the multi-stage builds let's define the first stage as a builder so we will keep everything the same and the second stage will be from scratch just a tiny base image and here all right we will do expose and also we need to copy only binary so we will say that we want to copy from the from the builder stage we want to copy only the binary from from the app http server just let's copy to the app and let's build and see if it still works and now just to make sure that everything works let's verify it with go run look around sorry let's bind the port to our host machine and do like this and we basically see url but we got response and we got a log great so i think go modules is a nice feature and you should definitely try it i use it in all my services i write of course it needs some improvements but it works on practice I hope it was interesting and helpful and see you later.